Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Into the Future Part 22. Yes, I know this is not where we left off. I kind of was recording, but forgot to hit the record button. And now I'm recording. So anyway, we are headed back to Sunset Valley because um, uh, we're going to go move into Roaring Heights. So we are back at the house that we recently purchased in Sunset Valley in the last couple of episodes and stuff like that. And we're here to stay a little bit, or, yeah, we're probably going to stay overnight. Um, make sure we have beds for everyone, like the baby, Kale, which we genetically engineered in the last part. Um, and stuff like that. We're just going to hang out as a family in Sunset Valley for a while. They're back from the future. Um, sorry I've been gone so long. I haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, if you guys have followed me on Facebook and Twitter and seen my uh, last two update channel update videos... I've been sick, and I've had crazy school finals, how to get those out of the way, how to get good grades. You know, grades always should come first in every teenage slash child's life. Um, so that's just what I've been focusing on. And then I got deathly ill, and y'all know me, I'm a baby and a pussy, so I was thrown up from my eyeballs, nostrils, throat sizzles, and my ear sizzles. I was really sick, and I couldn't do anything because I'm a baby. Anyway... Now we are back, part 22. Um, we got Kale in the last part. She went to the Baron the Wasteland and collected some things, something or others. And this is our house. It always takes a while to load when we travel from the future to the present. So that's what we're doing right now. We're actually going to go into buy mode and make sure we have a crib for her. I know we have a docking station and we have two kid bedrooms. Uh, oh, we do. Cool, cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We are... All set in the... My dog just made the grudge noise. That was creepy. Anyway, we're all good in the hood. We will be moving to Roaring Heights. Um, I kind of got busy around Roaring Heights, you know, getting ready for finals and stuff like that. That's why I didn't do a review. But I think I'm going to do, like, my favorite parts of Roaring Heights video. Something like that, if you know what I mean. Because um, there's lots of parts to Roaring Heights. We will be staying there for a while. Um, I've showed you guys everything, almost everything, to the future. He's standing in the crib right now. That's probably a glitch. I think I have my mods folder in. Um, and stuff like that. Just because I like the cigarette mod. Okay, I've been playing in Roaring Heights. 20s and 30s era. You know, 1920s, 1930s area. Everyone smokes. I make my sim smoke. Okay, wham. I know, it's bad. Anyway, um, what was I saying? We will be staying in Roaring Heights. There's lots to show you guys. Um, you guys voted for it. You guys wanted it. Um, and yeah, that's just where it will continue. And I'm going to be, you know, switching worlds and showing you guys store worlds that come out because I do want Into the Future to carry out as long as I can, you know, probably till summer or till right before Sims 4 comes out. So, I mean, expect this to be definitely 50 parts. Um, who knows how much longer than that, but we will see. So, they are back in the future, like I've said 20 trillion times. Where is Cynthia? Cynthia... She's just playing around with the plumb bot. Uh, silly girl, stop playing with the with the pet. <laughs> That's so bad, calling your plumb bob a pet. Aw. Every time I call my plumb bob a pet, which I've been doing recently, I always think of their like sad crying face when you sell them. Aw. Who left that juice can right there? I'm a whoop your ass potter. I'm a get that lightning bolt. And I'm gonna shoot it in your mind. Look at your <laughs> damn eyeballs, dude. They're the same color as mine. And my hair, your hair looks just like I'm gonna get you. Oh yeah, stop rolling your eyes at me, dinosaur feet. Anyway, I just had to sell something, you know. Settle something with him. Anyway, um, so he he needs to go patty, and then he's gonna come and sleep. Um, is Kale doing good? She's gonna have to pee soon. Um Let's just wait till she pees her pants. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pee your pants. What are you doing, Cynthia? Cynthia is the main bitch in this house. She's the, my main man squeeze. Uh, pick up Kale. Okay, well, let's have her come over here. We can just snuggle and play with Kale. And then we can snuggle again and then change her diaper. Hopefully she has to pee by then. Um, and then we will put her to sleep. Once they all wake up, we will be selling this house. Let's see how much it sells for. We'll be getting a big house in Roaring Heights, hopefully. 165000 and we have... Oh, yeah, we won the lottery. We good and funs, guys. And then we're going to put her to sleep. 
she wants to get maybe she should get a job since we'll be in roaring heights for a while i kind of want to maybe we could get them like a late night lp or i'm gonna be starting a late night lp if you guys haven't seen my update videos so the next lp that i will have in addition to into the future is late night but maybe i should have like one of them be like you know a movie star because i really like that career that came with late night who knows we'll figure it out once we get there does she pee yet pee your damn pants lord have mercy pee your damn pants does she pee good Whew, she just peed okay now put her down because we don't like her. Just kidding. I love her. She's cute. We're going to have three kids. We're going to have a huge family. Huge family, guys. Maybe they should they? Ooh. Question of the day. Should she have another kid? Should they have another kid? Yes. And what should it be? A boy or a girl? Because I know I can eat watermelons for a girl and apples for a boy. Something like that. You guys will tell me. Let me know. Question of the day. QTA. Question. Oh, QOA. Question of the. QOTA. Question of the day. Right? D. I, I don't whatever anyway i will resume once they wake up i'm a nutcase i know guys all right guys so we are going to be waking them up he what's his name forrester i don't i don't even know what i call him anyway he just has to pee so he's gonna go to the bathroom and then he's going to prepare organic pancakes for his um family his large family and he's feeling out of the sorts so what we're gonna do we're gonna click on him and we're gonna have him okay get up we're going to have him take deep breaths from bag. He's going to hyperventilate a little bit. Oh my freaking gosh. Okay. Take deep breaths. I'm going to watch you pee because we're creepy. All of you guys watching are creepy. You want to see them woohoo and see them pee pee. Just kidding. I love you guys. Um, but I'm creepy because I want to. Is that, is that bad? Is that weird? Hashtag is that weird? Like from Girl Code? <laughs> yes, I watch Girl Code. Get over it. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, we should probably have her come and put out this fire because the fireplace. All, ooh, change colors. Blue. Oh, she's gonna change it. Okay, get up. Get up. Go change it, and then we're gonna uh, turn off because we know that they start fires a lot. So it's Potter's birthday, Kale's birthday, and Ginger's birthday. So they all will be. Ooh, that was cool. Um, they will all be growing up. However, did he make food yet? He isn't cooking food. Once they all eat, we will definitely move to Roaring Heights. Well, she's just like, F you. I'm eating my own food. Anyway, we're going to call household to meal. Not her. Not him. We don't want him. He can't eat pancakes, can he? Oh, he can. Okay. Um, so the kids are all going to wake up and come eat. What is she doing? She's still sleeping. Cool, cool, cool. They're going to come eat. Oh, and it's leisure day today. It says right here. Leisure day is here. Enjoy the warm plague. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. So, it is leisure day. He needs to quit eating and do that. It is nice and hot. It is 70 degrees. I wish it was 70 degrees here. I wish it was 70 degrees here in, um, ooh, what house is that? I wish it was that hot here in, um, Ooh, the goth family in Colorado because it is really cold right now. I mean, it was in the negatives one week, and then the next week after that, it was in the, you know, the 50s. Like, it got hot, and 50s is warm. Like, Californians won't oh, think that you. that's hot, but it's hot for Colorado. Mm. And then now it's cold again, and it, like, spit out snow, like, it orgasms snow everywhere. And now it's oh, freezing cold. Anyway, enough about orgasming the snow. Oh, they're just enjoying. They're just relaxed and talking. That's so cute. Anyway, we're going to break you guys up. We are going to real estate, uh, become a resort owner. Do we have to sell it? No, purchase. Okay, move. And we're going to move to a new town. So we have to make sure we have one, two, three, at least three bedroom house. At least three bedroom house, okay? Your Remind me of that, guys. All right. East the Paradiso, pack furniture, worth, sell furniture. That's how much our house is worth? Holy crap, Ola. Uh, okay, so we are going to move to Roaring Heights. That's so cool. Look how much money we're going to be getting. Oh, I think it also sells our future home. 
darn it. Oh, well, we're going to move. So moving to Roaring Heights, and it says, Welcome to the city where bold shapes, rich colors, and ivyish looks rule the skyline. The residents of Roaring Heights are living in the fast lane in the booming place filled with striking skyscrapers and bustling beaches. Whether you're, con whether you're content to hang out on the piers, work your way to the top, or host glamorous parties at your home, there's a place for every lifestyle in Roaring Heights. With the endless opportunities as your front at your front door, which new lifestyle will you choose in Roaring Heights? So pretty much what they mean, you can live in the city in the apartments. I recommend not living in the apartments. I tried that actually yesterday in my current game. No, they suck. They're not like the apartments in Late Night. The roof covers your view. It's terrible. They're way too big, way too spacious. I don't like it. Um, you, so you can live in the city, an apartment. You can live in the suburbs, like, you know, like in Sunset Valley. Or you can live on the beach by the boardwalk. So we're going to sell furniture. And yes. now we are going to move. Your family is preparing to move to a new town. Uprooting, uprooting them for this long-distance move will cause all normal wishes, opportunities, and relationships with Sims outside of your household. Oh, that sucks. Uh, to be lost as they wipe the slate clean in their new life. They all they may also lose their job if the new town doesn't offer their selected career. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Uh, save. So I am going to save into the future LP. Save file already exists. So are you sure you want to override it? Yes. Cool. So I'm going to save. And let me just tell you guys again, Roaring Heights is based uh, um, in the past way in the past so like the 1920s and 1930s that's why the fixer up car is really really old looking some of you guys will be like it's so ugly well no shit it's like the first kind of car ever made you know the pontiacs or whatever kind of car was the very first kind of car um which i'll show you guys how to do that because it's really cheap you just fix it up it's so cool i'm really excited that's why i'm talking fast um and stuff like that and i think i kind of want to live by the beach um, but we will see, but I will resume once we are entering Roaring Heights. Uh, the robot has the baby. All right, guys, so here's Roaring Heights. I'm sure you guys have seen it, maybe in other reviews, or you guys might have it yourself, but it is awesome. You know, the suburbs are back here, or back here. The city is right here. Return to previous town. Yeah, no. Look how much freaking money we have. Um, and then here is like the beach kind of like boardwalk. I'm going to stick in the actual boardwalk venue, the venue that came with the gold edition. I will stick it right here. Um, that's just because where I put it in my um, my uh, current game, my offline household. Um, so yeah, so let's find a house. This one has five bedrooms furnished. Let's see what it looks like on the inside and on the outside. If I have to, I'll go into edit town and, um, well, we can go to a house. I'll go into edit town, move houses around, then move again. Kind of like cheating, but not. Um, ooh, this guy, ooh, ooh, eh, ooh, is this, ooh. I don't know if I like it. Ooh, the pool's kind of cool. No, down. Do I like it? Do I like it? Ooh, that's kind of cool. I like that color. Um, too wide. Too wide. No. No cancel. Alright. Let's go here. I think this is the house that I have in my um, current LP. So we need to list three bedrooms. This one's really cheap. It's kind of small. Smaller. Though. What is that one? Yeah, no, one bedroom, one bathroom for a family of one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, four bedrooms, six bathrooms. We're living large, guys. I don't think that's a house. Uh, four bedrooms, two point. No, that's cheap. Oh, we need like that house or like that house. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Okay, it's right there. I was scared for a second. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to edit town. And let's just evict some people. What is this? Three bedrooms, 7.5 bathrooms. Who the hell needs that? I don't even know. Three bedrooms, four bathrooms. Do we want to live way back here? Four bedrooms. Three bedrooms. One bedroom in that big house. 
Cuvier. Oh, I think that was in the uh, the LB, the live broadcast. Five bedrooms. All right, let's evict them. Let's just just to look at the house. I want the right house, you know, guys. I don't want to mess up and get the wrong house. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. All right, so this has five bedrooms, four bathrooms. A bedroom for each of them. This is kind of like on the on the river. Oh, is this a boathouse? No, this is not a boathouse. Okay. I don't like all these plants. Go away. Okay, get. Thanks. All right, so let's go down. It's really cheap. Family of five. Um, nah, it's kind of small. I know, I'm picky. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Alright, well, let's find a good house. We're not doing an apartment because I know there's one with, like, five bedrooms, but it's just weird. Like, the roof comes over it. I don't know. I'm sure you guys would know what I mean. If you have played with it, what is this? Three bedrooms. Ooh, this bedroom. Two. Oh, that only has two bedrooms in that big house, really? Okay, well, let's see. We already looked at that house. Four bedrooms. Let's see, look at this one. This one might be it. I think I've seen this house before. Yeah? That's a very big front lawn. We can like delete these like trees. Oh, pear tree. Delete some of these trees and put cars here. Come on, load. All right, let's go down. Does it have a basement? No. Does it have a pool? Ooh, I like this. So the front door is right there. You walk in, you have um, load. Please load. What is, I don't even know what this is. Planted palm tree. Oh, okay. So you walk in here, this is kind of like the the living room, right? We'll have to add a TV. I mean, who can't watch TV? Or who can't have a living room without TV, you know? All right, well, we can, we're gonna add in computers and stuff. Um, I kind of like this. Oh, there's more floors. Duh. The more floors. All right, and there's one, two. This is maybe the master bedroom right here, yeah? And then this one can be like a kid's how many how many okay and then there's already like a little baby room right here and then we have two kids rooms right there okay cool and then is there another upstairs nope i like it i think let's go to the outside i love a boat Actually, guys, I think we're going going to go with this one. That was that really big one where only one dude lived in it. It's huge. I think what we're going to do is live in this one for a while. And then I think um, this one other YouTuber made me this awesome, awesome house that I do want to live in at some time. So I think we can do that. But I think this house is good. So if we look at it like this. So we walk in. It's like a mansion. Oh, my God. It's crazy. So if we walk in, here's the front door. Here's a gigantic grand staircase. You walk over here, you got um, kind of like a living room thing. We can put like a TV there, I guess. Uh, two bedrooms already right there. And we got this little like study kind of like library thing. You walk over here. Um, well, first, let me show you the back. You walk down these stairs. Here's the pool. It is huge. <laughs> Have little parties out here. Anyway, here's the grand dining room. And then here's the grand-ish with bathrooms attached. Um, kitchen kitchen which i'm going to like add in more stuff because it has like crappy stoves crappy that crappy this crappy this crappy that anyway i will fix that crappy toilets and stuff like that and then you go up here and here's the master bedroom and then here's one bedroom right here you know more bathrooms you know like a study and stuff like that but then boom look at all this space they have all this space where I could easily, which I think I might do, make another room, which can be the baby's room. And then I'll have one bedroom right there, you know, like a baby's room right here. And then we go upstairs. And then here is like a little hangout area with a bar 
and then another bedroom up here which is kind of like another master bedroom so i think this is going to be it however i think i'm going to do off camera maybe ooh Maybe not in this part, but in the next part, we're just going to put like a baby crib right here for now. That's going to be the parents' bedroom. Maybe not in this part, but in the next part, in between parts, I will just do it, you know, offline. Um, make this kind of like a bedroom and stuff like that for the baby and stuff like that. So cool. So let's um, come in here and let's just, you know, okay, get rid of this. That's crappy, 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 crappy. We're going to go in here and just add in some things. Um, I'm going to have you guys watch. We're going to put in this really nice refrigerator stove. We want to do this nice stove. And stir like that. Uh, that sink is fine, I guess. Um, we have this big ass statue worth 10,000 freaking small hands. If we're ever poor, deleting the statue, $10,000. Um, and then we go over here. Let's actually put in what I kind of did in my um, current household, but I have to ha I have to have another current household to show you guys all these things. So this is like a 20s and 30s, you know, world. Am I right? We're going to put an Into the Future holographic TV, which will look really cool right there, um, which I think is kind of, you know, funny. <laughs> and then we got this pool down here, big pool. And then we go up here. And we look over, here's like, bedroom, what am I trying to, crappy, Bargain John, whoever wants a Bargain John, we want freaking porcelain throne toilet, like are you kidding me right now, who wants that crappy old toilet, we want a good toilet, am I right, I'm right, alright, let's delete these, porcelain throne, porcelain throne, upstairs delete that okay and then we're gonna do a porcelain throne right right there i don't know whatever and then i think right here we're gonna delete this and put in another porcelain throne so now let's go down here where can we put cars on this crazy ass effing lot this is like the front of the house oh here are two cars okay so here are two car spots. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna buy a car because we have we have lots of money. So we're gonna actually put in a really nice car and then we're gonna put in a fixer upper car, okay? But they're gonna look kinda old. So this one, this car, this is from Supernatural, correct? This kinda looks like the fixer upper car. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's from Into the Future though. So we are going to do, remember when that was the nicest car before they got any expansion packs, you know, or any stuff packs before I did at least. Yeah, so we're going to do this one. This is going to be green because that's my favorite color. We're going to put this one right there. And then what we're going to do, actually, we're going to put it right there. And then we're going to delete this mat and buy the fixer upper car. And it is right here, this hunk of junk, classically cool fixer upper car. So this is what it looks like. You put it in just right here. Just like that, they walk around, the Sims walk around, and they just like fix it and stuff. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Boom, bam, let's put in a crib, just like a temporary crib for now. Until I get everything Misichima mated. That plant right there, because I don't like it in the middle. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now let's play. Or let's first buy the house, right? Okay. That took a while to figure out a house, but we got a nice house. So let's do this. We're going to place copy. We want to do it here. Uh, purchase. $423,000 is the ending price. Boom, boom, boom. Processing. Processing, process. Okay, cool. Start playing with this household. They're all moved in into a new life. Woo! I just racked myself in the nuts. Mm, okay. Okay, okay. Moving requires saving the game. Saving under a new name is recommended to preserve your previous save. Okay, well, we're going to do into the future LP. One, one. <laughs> Boom. 
I love this house, guys. It's like a mansion. Do you guys see how big it is? See, I told you winning the lottery was totes worth it. Am I right? I'm right. So. Save. <sighs> Sorry if I hurt your ears, headphone users. Rest in peace. Everyone, every time I scream or squeal, you guys, <laughs> you guys are like... Rest in peace, headphone users. And I'm like, oh, sorry. I mean, you are wearing headphones. It's kind of, you know, your fault. But that's okay, you know? All right, come on, let's do this. Let's do this. So, yeah, I do want you guys to comment and just tell me if you guys want another, um, where's, where's the child? Oh, she's over there. Uh-oh, oh, Lord. Okay, well, <laughs> let's get let's get uh, R two Z three. Come over here. Let's have you um, come and put in crib. Just walk all the way around. Ginger, can you go here? Okay, you're walking all the way around now. Cool. So now they are moving into their house, and I think yeah, it's their birthday. Everything pretty much resumed. However, they do not have their relationships with the other people, just with their immediate family. So, which is all good. So we have lots of money. We have 543 simoleons. And we're going to get Forrester. Forrester, come over here. We're going to come over here. And we're going to see. And look what you can do. You can try for a baby. You can woohoo in the car. You can make out in the car. You can cuddle in the car. Hang out in the car. Work on the engine. Work on the body. Rev the body. So, we're going to get her. She's going to work. No, you're not going to work on car. They're like from the future. All dressed up from the future. But now they live in the 20s and 30s. You know, all that time portal like messed up. And now they're in Roaring Heights. So if you hear it, Rev, see, it sounds terrible. It's like all broken. He needs to fix it up. So let's come over here and you work on you work on the engine. And then you can also work on the body, which is like the color and wheels and stuff like that. This is what they pretty much do. They fix it, they hit it, stuff like that. Takes a while, but it's cool once it's done. Okay. This is our big freaking house. Let's get her to come over here. Serve some brunch. Let's serve some peanut butter and jelly. All right. So, oh, what does she want to do? She wants to be a vocal legend. <laughs> no. Vote no. Sorry. All right. Anyway. So, we have this bedroom, which I'm going to change in the next part. And then we have this bedroom up here, right? We have two bedrooms. Yeah. And then we have this bedroom up here, which... That will be their own. I think we're going to give Ginger the big one with the bathroom because I think he got the bigger bedroom last time. Um, so we're going to do that and then give her that bedroom. They're just going to have decked out rooms and stuff like that. But I am going to end this part here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We kind of did a lot. We moved to Roaring Heights. Um, yeah, we will have fun time. We'll have a fun time in here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Tell me if you do. And stuff like that. I will see you guys in the next part. In the next part, I will be moving and building stuff around. So, um, yeah. I will see you guys later. Love you guys so much. See y'all peoples later. Bye.